And the other nun says, it's the cobblestones. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Let's play some, uh, let's play some Isaac. We are going. What, what, do, what do I want to play? Eden? No. We've got everything complete on Eden. Let's do... No, I'm not playing Blue Baby. Let's do a Dark Room Kane run. Because I like playing Kane. You know, I, I mentioned last... Uh, 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 English? Hard? Stuttering? Please? I mentioned in the last episode that I've been really enjoying playing Kane lately, even though, you know, he's not really... Oh, Jesus. Red fire, please. Red fire, no. That's a bad red fire. I mentioned in the last episode that I've been playing Kane, and I've been enjoying him, even though he isn't particularly overpowered. I do like that he starts with the, uh, the paperclip. It's a relatively strong thing to start with, I think. Of course, it's no mini brimstone or active item that sucks up other active items or the D6, but it is interesting. And he's more fun to play than other characters, like Maggie, who is very boring to play, and Blue Baby, who I hate playing with all of my being. Okay, well, uh, let's try not to die, like, right away. This looks like Butterbean? Yes. I don't know if it's in Afterbirth Plus, or it's in... Anti-Birth. Where there's an item that looks exactly like Butterbean, but is better. And it's supposed to, like, you know, try to trick you. Because normally you wouldn't take it, but, oh, god damn it. Okay, we're gonna start over then. It's fine. You know, we can get a better item than Butterbean. I didn't want to talk about it anyways. Also, that spider walked into a fire. If only spiders would do that in real life. There we go. Uh, I forgot that Kane starts with a key, actually. That's pretty handy, too. Not overly relevant, because it doesn't matter a whole lot, but it is pretty nice. I like starting with a bomb, though, because it means you can get an easy spirit heart if you can find a tinted rock. I'm going to take care of this. Like, before I deal with the spiders, just so it doesn't start spawning more spiders. No, no rune drop. That's fine. Ooh, a red heart. Excellent. Would love to get that. Red fire, you will not be hurting me this time. Nor will any of these poops. Or the big poop. None of that. Damage isn't too horrible on Kane to start with. He does start with 4.2 damage. There are definitely characters that start with less damage, that's for sure. Um, Let's not take that yet. Because I don't really want an attack fly if I could like re-roll it into something else. Like, almost literally anything else would probably be better. And that's, you know... Coming from the person that got a Butterbean on the item room in the run that I just lost a second ago, you may remember. You may recall. One penny for a reroll? No. Okay. I figured it was too much to ask anyways. Uh, no immediately visible tinted rock. Good. I don't think these enemies have a lot of health, because I can kill them in like two or three hits. So they've got to have pretty low internal health, whatever the conversion is there. Because I don't know if it's actually like, you know, I have 4.2 damage, so when I hit somebody I do 4.2. Or if it's, uh, y you know, less direct, like it's multiplied by something. No idea. I assume it's multiplied. I just don't know how. So, we probably want to use our bomb to get two bombs by breaking into that double bomb area there. From there, I have no idea. Doesn't seem to be a tinted rock, at least not on the lower part. Don't regenerate as I'm trying to destroy you. I think they spawn with less and less health every time they come back, so it doesn't really matter, but... So we go. Ooh, a free bomb. Alright. Well, first of all, like I said, you know, I want to crack that open. And then, there's not really anything to grab there. It's a very loud siren. Let's bomb 
this. There we go. That's that's an okay item, I would say. I don't know how it's going to work, like how well it'll work against some enemies. I guess we'll see. Duke of Flies is a pretty good enemy to figure it out against, although I guess not really. And also it took like a lot of damage, way too much damage there from these flies, because for some reason the game frequently gives me champion versions of bosses now. And I guess champion Duke of Flies spawns the, uh, the annoying ones that shoot out bullets when you kill them. Ooh, that's not good. It's fine. I'd really like to not be at half of a heart again, but I, I guess I can't really, you know, stop that. There are a lot of these flies being spawned. Like, entirely too many. Just attack. I, I can't really hit the Duke of Flies because those ones go for me, and now he just finally sprayed out the actual flies. The real people flies that don't shoot at me. Alright, well, there's a second death. Good thing I got a champion boss. Little Monstro. I don't know. Oh, he seems to, uh, he's like a Monstro's lung, but it shoots from behind you? Maybe? I can imagine that being pretty helpful. Like, it seems like not a bad familiar at first blush. Plus, he can shoot over things, so as far as I'm concerned, Little Monstro is like... You know, probably a B-tier familiar. Better than, you know, Lost Fly or something. Even though Lost Fly did do a lot of work for us in the daily, I believe. Just, uh... Do that. Oh, okay, that... He, stop, please. Shoot forward. There we go. So far, Little Monstro, not bad. I approve. I wonder if his damage scales up with our damage. If so, I'd say like B plus tier. Maybe even like A minus. Not quite above that. You know, it, it takes a lot to be an A or an A plus tier familiar, whichever you want to construe as the highest. Probably the best familiars, though, at least in my opinion, are, uh, wow, okay. Uh, Little Brim is really good, probably one of the best. And the other really good one, in my opinion, is Rotten Baby. I know some people don't like Rotten Baby, for whatever reason, or like, don't think it's as good. But personally, I'm always excited when I see Rotten Baby. Such a strong enemy. Also, another, uh, another champion I can't help but notice. Because that was necessary. At least this one doesn't seem to be spawning spiders. He just shoots out lots of bullets. I'm fine with that. I have no problems with Ragman only shooting out bullets. Nothing else really on this floor. I guess I'll check out this final room here. Might as well try to give ourselves the uh, best start possible. There's a Tinted Rock over there as well. It's just the shop, which I will not be opening. For there is no reason to go into the shop. Goat hoof? No. The 0 0.2 or 0 0.15 speed up, whatever it is, probably not worth taking over lockpick. Lockpick is just too valuable. So let's go into here, head down to our second floor, finally. I, I think, I know last run we died against the boss, so we definitely didn't get to the uh, the second floor, but I think in the first run we didn't either. So I'm glad to actually be on the second floor now. It's a good feeling, having a slightly less terrible time. I don't know why I perform so good on the dailies, which I have won four of in a row, and so badly on my other runs. Maybe it's like, uh, you know, because it's the daily, I feel like it is winnable. Like, somebody out there must be capable of finishing it, because, you know, there's a lot of people, and they wouldn't put an unwinnable run as the daily. So, 
I tend to think that it's more likely that I will be able to finish, and then, you know, I just play well because I think I'll play well. It's all a psychological thing, is what I'm saying. It's what I'm getting at. This is our curse room. Interesting. Probably not going to go in there, at least not right away. Also, I'd really like to know what unlocks the gulp pill, because I don't think I've unlocked it yet. I haven't seen it in a normal run at any point. So I'm pretty sure it's like a thing you have to unlock. Probably either a greedier mode thing or like... You know, if not a greedier mode thing, then maybe... Uh, completing the delirium track. I don't think that's where it is though. And I'm pretty sure it's not a challenge. I've looked at the rewards for the challenges, and I'm... I know there's, like, the charged keys can be one of the unlocks for that. Don't think that, uh... Oh, shit. That's a, uh, explosive barrel. Maybe don't shoot it when you're standing right next to it. I don't think that... The char... or the... Gulp pill is a challenge unlockable. Is what I'm getting at. Help down is not fantastic. Ah, we've got little monstro versus regular monstro. Excellent. Take that monstro. Ye fiend. The charge time on little monstro is actually really decent. Did not get a devil deal. That is not ideal. We did get uh, meat though, which is a damage up by, what was it, 0 0.7 I think is what it just said. And also a zero, or a, a zero, yeah. A one heart health up. There we go. Just gonna go down to the next floor. We can't really afford to buy anything from our shop, so I don't want to waste a key going in there. And I guess we could look for our secret room. It's probably right to the left there. Maybe it'll be worth it. If... Even though we didn't blow up the secret room, we still got five cents. So, like, we got back the value of the bomb, essentially. Let's go down to the next floor, probably immediately pop our Ansu's rune. Especially since it's an XL floor. Okay, that looked way bigger than it, it was for a second. Um, There could be some kind of special room over here, so I'll just quickly clear it. No. Okay, okay. So, uh, completely unrelated to Isaac's strategy talk, which I'm, I'm just bad at in general right now, I have decided to give the Mistborn series a go because I have heard good things about it. It's by, like, Brandon Sanderson? Brian Sanderson? Something like that. I don't know, I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I figured, why not? I'll give it a try. And by give it a try, I of course mean listen to an audiobook while I go for walks, because I need to go for walks anyways. Could you stop pushing my tears away, though? And by my tears, you know, I mean... Little Monstro's tears. He can't be useful for me if you push all of his tears away. Stop being a dick. The leeches, though, stand no chance against Little Monstro. Because he's just that good. It's actually like really handy for dealing with the leeches because just one barrage will take care of the leech. Stop. Stop dashing into me. And also, Mr. Mr. Human Popcorn over there, stop spawning leeches, please. This is actually ridiculous. Could you could you not? Like I'm trying to get close enough that my tears can't get pushed away and he spawns a goddamn leech every time. I might actually lose the run in this room. Solely because I can't actually get to this guy. About time. Alright, we won't lose here. We probably also are not going to get a devil deal. Dodged straight into that bullet because I thought it was... Going to go straight for some reason. What's this? I'm excited? Don't know what that does. I want to say it speeds up all the enemies in the room though. I don't know why I checked this room. I knew there wouldn't be anything in here. Kill that, kill that, basically just using Little Monstro as our damage dealing source right now. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll take that. Amnesia, nice. 
I'm glad we used the uh, the Ansu's rune only to immediately kidnap Yishapil. Excellent. Well, if nothing else, I know that the uh, item rooms are over in this direction and then like down. Go, little monstro. Unleash your fury upon the world at being little monstro and not full size monstro. Ooh, I'm glad that wasn't a bony. That would have been really awkward if it had been a bony. And I'm glad that these ones aren't the leech spawning ones. Never mind, two of them are. At least it's not a champion one that repels my tears. That would just make me sad. Look, you need to die, buddy. I've got nothing against you or your human popcorn kind, but spawning things is too much. Especially when the things you spawn are leeches. No. No, okay. Oh my god. The worst dodges in human history. Okay, well, you know what? That was a an okay length run. Enough that I'm going to end it here because if I have like a full length run, then this video is going to be like an hour long. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this even though it was just three losses in quick succession. Uh, hopefully I'll do better tomorrow. I've been who this this has been the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, and I'll see you guys all next time. Leave a like and a sub and a comment would be cool. And maybe you could check out more of my channel. Bye.